So we're just jumping into today's video and that is me doing some cage maintenance on all of my hamster cages. You guys really like these videos so I thought why not. Today we're starting off with Honey's cage and I'm just removing all of the stuff in her cage so that I can kind of rearrange it a little bit. I also am taking out her sand bath because I'm just going to give that a clean so that I can put some fresh new sand in there. So I'm using a bit of reptile sand and then I'm also going to be mixing it with some children's play sand because the reptile sand is really expensive so I like to just mix it so it's not as much money waste. Then I'm going to be adding this wooden hideout in the sand bath, which was such a good idea because Honey loves going in there and using the sand bath way more. So if you have a sand bath and your hamster doesn't use it, I highly suggest putting in a hideout in the sand bath and they most likely will use it a lot more. As you can see, little Honey woke up because she could hear me moving stuff around her cage. So I just said hello to her and then I actually put her in her travel cage so that I could start on this little part. So I give Honey all of this bedding and she doesn't actually burrow in it like she should. So I thought why not make her some type of burrow box. I'm not very skilled in building things so I just took a bit of old cardboard and some hot glue and I made a little burrow box. These also I made myself. These are little wood slices that I put dowels on and I use them as ledges and the hamsters love them. Then I'm just putting in the food dish and the water. Then we have Aspen's cage here. As you can see, it used to have the popsicle sticks. I've replaced it with plexiglass and I wanted to make it cuter. So I'm just taking these cage stickers from Furnishables. They're removable stickers and I'm just placing them on there to kind of make it look a bit cuter. As well as somebody gave me the idea that I should uh, stuff some moss in between the cracks of my bendable bridges just so that it can prevent any toes or legs from getting caught so I just want to take the precaution and do that. And then I'm adding in some flax, wheat, and then oat sprays for her when she gets back into her cage which might not be for a while. So I thought I'd do a little quick update on Aspen for you guys because she still is in her bin cage. Aspen is on the road to healing. Her leg is a little bit swollen at the ankle still, and if it is truly broken, then it can take 4 to 12 weeks of healing, but she still is active eating and drinking, and she's overall a very happy hamster, so she is doing okay. So then we are just moving on to Bumble's cage, and I want to rearrange the entire cage for her as well, so I'm just going to remove everything so that I can do that. Also, Bumble isn't in the cage currently. She had already woken up so I put her in a playpen with her hideout. And this part actually reminds me that I need to make a little stand for her wooden wheel because the bedding does get stuck under there a lot. I'm just adding in her sand bath which I cleaned out and gave her fresh sand. I like to do that every once in a while. So I'm going to be putting in this hideout at the back here so that I can actually see in when she goes into that hideout. She likes to go in there to groom. I also had no clue where to put this bridge. Um, so I'm adding in a cork log, another cork log because I love my cork. 
and then her bridge on the top there which I did put some sphagnum moss just on the edge there it's just natural green moss it is safe for hamsters um, they do nothing with it really they just walk on it they don't try to eat it or anything I'm adding her hideout and this is a wooden magazine organizer you can get from Ikea it's called a uh, knuff enough I don't know how to say it properly but I love it as a hamster hideout then I'm adding in my flax wheat and then oat spray I love sprays and my hamsters love sprays and then I'm adding in her food and water the food dish is actually a terracotta saucer and they're perfect food dishes so then the last thing I'm gonna do is add in my herbs I always get questions of what ones I use there is rosebuds marigold ribwort cornflowers and china see I don't know how to say that one parsley stalks raspberry leaves nettle leaves dandelion leaves chamomile dill and sunflower petals